Well, it's a rainy November day. Not much else to do. Why don't we check out one of the iconic sites here in Bethlehem? Here on the Steel Stacks campus. Well, if you'd really like to get a close-up and personal view of the steel stacks, the blast furnaces, and the hot end of an integrated steel plant, your best bet is to visit the Hoover Mason Trestle here in Bethlehem. It was once used as a narrow gauge railroad to carry the coke, limestone, and iron ore that was needed to make the iron for the blast furnaces. Now it's a public walkway designed to be part of the museum. The construction of Lehigh Canal in the 1820s and the Lehigh Valley Railroad in the 1850s brought the Industrial Revolution to the Lehigh Valley. Robert Sayre, chief engineer of the Lehigh Valley Railroad, formed Bethlehem Iron in 1860 to make iron rails for the fast-growing railroad industry. This company would later become the massive Bethlehem Steel Corporation, owning mines, shipyards, and steel mills throughout the Americas. This company would be instrumental in supplying the steel that shaped, powered, and defended America. The Hoover Mason Trestle was completed in 1907 and is named after the Chicago-based engineers who designed it. For over 80 years, cars delivered raw materials including limestone, iron ore, and coke to the blast furnaces. Men worked around the clock, in three shifts, emptying carloads of materials into storage bins below. The blast furnaces operated continuously and required a constant feeding of materials. Tons of limestone, iron ore or pellets, and coke would be loaded into the furnace in layers. Hot air was blown in near the bottom to fuel the reaction. Transfer cars brought limestone, iron ore or pellets and coke to the blast furnaces. These electric powered cars came from the ore yard, sintering plant, and the coke works and carried up to 150 tons of materials per car. The five standing blast furnaces were built between 1906 and 1959. Each furnace produced from 800 to 3,300 tons of iron per day, with up to three furnaces operating simultaneously. The blower house generated the wind for the blast furnaces. Inside this building, rows of giant gas-powered engines pumped pressurized air out to the stoves. The stoves heated the air before it was forced into the furnace. This hot pressurized air reacted with the coke, fuel, producing intense heat and carbon monoxide. The steel structural beams used in skyscrapers throughout the US were first rolled at this site in 1907. The wide flange beam, shaped from a single piece of steel, was lighter and stronger than previous beam designs. This meant skyscrapers could be built taller than ever before, and with less cost. Whether you're a history buff or just curious like I am, you're sure to find a visit to the Hoover Mason Trestle here in Bethlehem fascinating. What's really interesting about this site is that it brings you up close and personal to these behemoths, these what at one time were modern marvels of the steelmaking process. This was the heart of steelmaking, the blast furnaces. And the Hoover Mason Trestle is an elevated walkway that takes you right past what was once known as Blast Furnace Row. 